I had um, an idea. I'm going to give something a shot. Um, so with the survey, it ended up being seven pages of answers. So I'm sure nobody wants to read that. And it also lets me know that apparently I have some things that I need to talk about. So we're going to give this a shot. And I'm just going to play with some paint. Okay, so um, the boring part is that uh, I have a memory dissociation disorder. I don't really like the word disorder, but you can use it if you want. Um, and it's because I grew up in a consistent, constant um, trauma. And so because of that, I am disassociated with a lot of uh, my memories and things that are happening. Um, so <clears throat> one of the important um, traits of d memory dissociation is amnesia. So I have a lot of amnesia from when I was a child. So I've started this journey um, with trying to just deal with all that and become a less frightened person. So I started this by uh, doing a survey. The people that know me, I'm very curious to see uh, everyone's answers, what has shocked people, what hasn't shocked people, that if you've just met me uh, once or twice, or if you've met me a few times and you don't know me extremely well, yours are going to be the best answers because um, you've never heard any of my stories. So, the answers to the quiz, these are the ones that are wrong. 4, 5, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. <clears throat> and so, I'm going to go through and just uh, tell you my stories and how I feel about them. Um... So the first one is uh, I hung out at pool halls. I did actually hang out at pool halls. And uh, that's one of the things that really surprised me. Um, since I don't rem remember very much, and I've only recently had access to memories that I've never, my brain's never let me access before. Um, so a lot of these things are new to me, uh, even though, so everything, yes, everything has come from my own head, but it's hard to describe. Um, so pool halls, I did hang out at pool halls. I... Oh, sorry. Um, so I'm actually very bad at pool, but I went, which did surprise me. I think I just said that. So anyway, question two, I hung out at nightclubs. I did hang out at nightclubs, and this is another new memory um, it's something like I knew, like, oh yeah, I went to the club with, uh, this person a few times, but then the more I started thinking about it, I'd actually been like many times with not even the same person with different, different friends. And the reason why that's interesting is because... <laughs> 
<clears throat> I was under the impression that before I had my children, I didn't actually have any friends. And I've recently discovered that that's not true. I've always had friends. I've always had people that cared about me. Even when I was wishing and dreaming and hoping for one day to have friends and for one day to be able to have people to count on and that enjoy being around me. Turns out I had that the whole time. Um, which is a little difficult for me to wrap my head around. Um, so a lot of this is about that. How I'm just learning who I've been to the people that know me.